friends. Welcome back. Here's the thing. It's been a bit rough the last couple of months. I haven't slept properly. I've exercised three times. My hair is completely grown out. Like, it used to all be this color, believe it or not. I'm starting to lose focus. Always tired, never have energy. I'm falling apart, but not for much longer. This is gonna be my birthday soon. You heard it, 27th of November. There are other things on the internet that are saying that it's the 26th, but those things are wrong. Write it in your journals, remind your parents, remind your friends, remind yourself, set a reminder on your phone. Write it on your hand. Tattoo it on your face. Put it on a little sticky note under your pillow. Tell the cats, tell the rats, tell the world, tell the news. I don't even like birthdays. Your boy is turning 22. I'm pretty excited. I'm ready for a new age, you know? When you're young, you just want it to be your birthday. When you're older, you don't want it to be your birthday. You want to stay young. I don't care. Okay, I can see why people are scared to get old, but not me. I wanna, I wanna live all the years, and I wanna be all of the ages, and I wanna enjoy it, and I'm not gonna be like, I just want, uh, you know, not for me. So here's the plan. We're going all out, okay? It's gonna be like a day of beauty, a huge big fat transformation day into beautiful. 22, start new. 22. Good as new. Something to play with Tessa. Let's keep thinking about that one. Got a list of things we're gonna do. Don't get me wrong. I do genuinely believe feeling beautiful comes from the inside. You gotta believe it in your brain and your heart and your soul and it just shines. You just glow. But I think there are certain things you can do. It's not even like that they physically make you like look beautiful. It's like a weird form of self-care. So that's what we're gonna do. 22 is a whole new thing. I'm gonna glow the f up. <laughs> I hate that I just said that. I actually hate that term, but I mean, I'm probably gonna title it that, so sorry. Here we go. We've already started, actually, like, I'm eating a salad. Does it have literal fries in it? Yes. But they're sweet potato, so baby steps. I think the looking after myself actually does, like, make me more productive because I, like, feel more put together and I'm, like, do things more put togetherly. <laughs> I'm gonna have a little good sleep tonight and then I'm up bright and early tomorrow because we've got some appointments. I'll see you in the morning so we can go bleach the shit out of my hair. Cheers to 22, baby. Morning. I'm about to go to my hair appointment, but I'm making a matcha. These are a new thing for me. Side note, look how big this almond milk is. For reference, here's the size of a normal carton. <gasps> Crazy. I'm also wearing these eye patches. Honestly, I don't think they do anything, but they kind of make me look like I'm trying. I'm gonna try and film some stuff in there. I'll see you guys when I'm sitting in a chair. Mm. I'm making toast. Who's gonna get indigestion? Tessa's gonna get indigestion. She's about to inhale two pieces of avocado toast. Inhale. Oh my god. I actually like was getting lightheaded in the... <laughs> I had breakfast and everything. Like, I'm being a bit dramatic. So good. used to this hair yet. Next thing we're doing is teeth whitening. It's charcoal powder. So I think I'm just meant to like brush my teeth with it. I don't even know that I like birthdays. I don't not like them, but I've never been like, wow, that was so good. Like when I was younger, I always felt sick on my birthday because I used it as an excuse to just eat like a whole cake. Okay, let's try this. Mmm. Mm -mm. I'm in the day for two minutes. Ah oh, yes, exactly as I suspected. They're exactly the same. So 
So the final part is makeup and an outfit. So we're gonna start with makeup. We might need some clip action, not gonna lie. Excuse me while I look like a five-year-old girl for the next couple minutes. I'm gonna like try and go all out. I don't know, it depends what I'm... I messaged my mom a picture of my hair and she goes, looks good, and then did a sad face. And then I was like, was that sad face intentional? And she goes, no, it was meant to be a heart. How do you not see that when your message, like... Yikes. I really am gonna try today. I'm gonna try and do all of the things, all of the steps. Okay, now I do this kind of weird thing where I just put bronzer all over my face. I kind of contour my face with it a bit, but I also just kind of put it everywhere. Did you see? The park ride. Thank you very much if you helped me get that. That's so cool. I just think it's so cool. I feel like people usually look forward to their birthdays because they're like, oh, I'm gonna get like birthday presents and stuff. But here's the problem with me. I exhaust all my birthday present credit at the start of the year. If I want anything during the year, I'll be like, I'll just put it, like, we'll just use it as my birthday present. So then it comes my birthday and I don't have any cred with anyone left. Dad, mom, what did you get me? And I'll be like, we paid for you to fix your phone back in March when you dropped it and broke it. Ah, I'm get cute. Um, I think we will go with like greens. Greens? Greens. It's a bit of an artsy angle for you. Oh, hopefully this looks okay. Who punched me? You know what, let's just leave it like that. Mmm, can't though. Yes, stop. No, they're so uneven, whatever. Nothing the most amount of glitter can't fix. Do you see how I glittered my problems away? I just glittered them away. Honestly, I'm probably gonna wear sunglasses on my outfit anyway, but you know, we'll put in the effort. I think we're done. Okay, before I get dressed, I'm just gonna put on some earrings. Everything is harder when you have fake nails on. My friend showed me a meme the other day that was like, a girl being like to a guy like, you pay 20 bucks for a skin on Fortnite, and then the guy was like, you pay 50 bucks to stick nails on your nails. <laughs> oh well. Okay, it's time to find an outfit now. I'm currently trying to decide whether we go with like colorful cutesy vibes or like maybe because I've been doing a lot of color recently I should try and do like more of a bad bitch kind of, um, you know what I mean? Hmm. I was just looking at my black clothes. I really like these jeans, like how they fit around the waist, but I don't like the elastic at the bottom. So I'm thinking I might cut it off. I usually do this kind of stuff and it usually works out okay. The best thing to do with these kinds of things is just go for it, just start cutting. Anything that cuts basically will do. This cup has like one of those like pearly straws in it. Okay, I'm gonna try these on now. Please pray for me that I didn't just ruin the pair of pants. They're all good, I like them. What do you think? I realize I've just kind of gone for like Matrix vibes. I used to dress like only in black. So this is what we're working with now. But I like it. Well that was fun. I didn't always have fun. I wasn't having fun when I was sitting in the hairdressing chair for the sixth hour. I'm excited to turn 22. If you want to wish me happy birthday, no pressure, I don't mind. But if you do want to, it's on the 27th and not the 26th, cause the internet lies sometimes. I think I like my hair. As long as it like looks semi nice for my birthday, that's all I care about. And then after that, we can go back to looking how I used to look and then we'll try again at 23. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you next week, bye.